So, and welcome to Sue's in the Shed and today I'm going to show you how to make these flowers out of plastic bottles. So what you're going to need for this tutorial today is plastic bottles, um, whatever size you like. You can use small ones, big ones, it'll make a whole different range of different size flowers. A pair of scissors that you're not too worried about um, damaging, so don't use your really good fabric scissors or something like that. And a can of spray paint. I quite like this dope spray paint. It's only like £2.50 a can or something online. Um, and you can get it in a whole range of colours. But that bit's for later. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get two flowers out of this bottle. One out of the top and one out of the bottom. So I'm going to cut the bottom off. Just be a little bit careful doing this. You don't want to stab yourself. But if you squeeze the bottle and just slit it, you'll find you'll be able to get your scissors in and cut round it. Okay, so we're just going to end up with the bottom off the bottle. We'll come back to that bit in a minute and we're going to cut the top off the bottle. Um, depending on how big you want your flower to be is where you cut. So if you want a really big flower, you can cut up here. Uh, if you want a smaller one, you can cut up here. And you can make all sorts of different sizes. I'll just tip that water out. I have rinsed these. So again, we're going to make a slit in it. done there we go we're going to cut round that and that bit can go in the recycling so with this one it's going to be really easy i'm going to make a nice big flared flower so i'm just going to cut down at intervals just down to there of course you could be really precise and measure these out but that's not my style and it worked out pretty well anyway so once you've got all your slits in this one, you can just push these back. And you'll find that they'll stay just with a little bit of pressure. And I leave the lid on this part of the bottle because if I'm going to stick that up somewhere, that's much easier to stick than an empty hole. Once you've got the shape you want, you can then shape your petals one by one. Just put round them like this. I'm sure you don't need me to do the rest of those so you can see how that's going to work. And I'll fetch this one back when I've spray painted it and show you it again. So we'll go on to this one. This one's got a nice shape already. So what I'm going to do is use that shape and just cut a petal around it and I tend to do all one side first and come back and do the next side so you can get a good rhythm going on now I'm going to come back and cut into that side Going to just bend these out and snip them off. And again, you don't need to see all that. So when this one is done as well, as you can see, if you pull those back, you get a nice petal shape. I'll fetch this one back when it's spray painted and show you that as well. So I've spray painted my flowers. These are the big ones that are cut and shaped, which look quite cool. And these are all made out of the bottoms of the bottles. And then if you um, take some buttons, you can either spray paint them or leave them. They can just sit in the middle. And they look quite cool. 
Thanks for watching.